One thing that I really like to say, and I hope I can convince you guys with this, but every detail counts. And I'm trying to break everything down to make sense and make it easy. If you if you're not someone that like a um, stay on the mat all day, if you don't understand the whole the whole uh, aspect of jiu-jitsu, so you need to start to like add things close to each other. And this doesn't work just for my game. I hope everyone that has like a, a different game, they they must have like a, a combination that apply very close and similar to each other. And based on that, I was able to connect the distance, I was able to get all over here. Um, I feel the person strike get up and I connect my hands over here. I have the shoulder, I have the control. From this position, I would love to keep my back most out of the mat and I can, I can sweep him and I don't even have to touch the floor. My back is even touch the mat if I, if I, if he stay here, if he wait for me. But some people, if they cannot pull, sometimes they drive. When I say drive, like a, if the arm cannot come out, they can close the distance. So I feel like a, if I keep his shoulder fall, but if you drive really hard on him and then keep, keep the weight. Mm -hmm. If you keep a lot of weight over here, it's gonna be hard to miss sweep because now he, I'm flat and keep passing the outside, outside, outside. And then he keep, just keep making the position. So if the person is tall and longer than you and he's driving to you and you not able to stay there, we still have a, a, a chance and an option. But the option has to be almost like just the butterfly guard. You have to just forcing the sweep as soon as you can because it cannot take too long because the person is really getting his way, his way out of it. So if I get to a position over here, I cannot kick and then he just drives forward. That's the time that I just have to lift it up. And that kind of so as soon as he keep driving, just keep, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. As soon as he but just lift, 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 and just get any hope from that. One thing that takes some time to people understand that the arm is going close to the floor. The arm could be touch the floor and it stop in the whole position. But if I keep the arm on top of my shoulder to not touch the floor, it's gonna be really hard to the person uh, don't turn and don't roll in this way. So I have this. So if he keep driving, you know, he, he start really defending, he's always touch the floor, but I'm doing to lift and back. All, all I'm doing is just kind of lift and pull his arm out of the floor. It's the type of sweep like even if I don't have the underhook, if I'm on the side control, I don't mind to stay here because that will give me a control. Uh, I'm not in the mount, I'm in the side control, so any moment if I can, I can look for the underhook. But you can kick and make a turn, or you can go to your back and keep lift. But you keep lift, but don't let the person's arm going towards the floor. The person's arm has to be lift. My elbow stay high. My, my shoulder stay close to, to, to my ear, and I try to keep that control. And his weight just has to go like a, towards the side. 